Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer and welcome to Best Kept Plans. Today's video is going to be a cash envelope stuffing for the paycheck that I received on September 1st, 2022 in my printable version of the Budget by Paycheck workbook from The Budget Mom. If you're interested in seeing that, please stick around. Okay, so we are nice and zoomed in for our cash envelope stuffing. I have my breakdown right here. There are some $100 bills up top as well as some fives and singles down below that you cannot see. I'm gonna start by talking about my emergency fund. This envelope itself is a freebie from The Budget Mom. I believe she has it in her free resource library. I think that or she had sent it out in one of her newsletters, but I absolutely love this envelope. I do have an emergency fund at my bank. It is a separate checking account that I have. I do use this cash envelope though to continue to contribute to my emergency fund without actually having to budget for it. So what I do is at the end of every pay period, any cash that I have left over in my variable expense cash envelopes, I take out of those envelopes and I put in this envelope here. I do wanna to get to $1,000. Once I do, I will empty this envelope, deposit that in my emergency fund checking account, and then start over again. With the last pay period that we had, I was able to contribute $52 to my emergency fund, so we should have a total of $371 in this envelope. I'm going to pull all the cash out and we can count it up together. So we have 50, 100, 150, 200, 220, 40, 60, 80, 300, 320, 340, 350, 51, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 371. So we do have $371. This is starting to get a little bit bulky, so I might have to condense the bills in this envelope. Not exactly sure if I'm going to do that yet, though. And I can actually fill in another roll here. I didn't even realize that, so I'll have to do that after I film this video. Next, we're gonna be stuffing my variable expense cash envelopes. I have those listed right here. I'm going to be using these same cash envelopes that I used in my last stuffing. And these are available in my Etsy shop, which is always linked down below. We're gonna start with eating out. And this is going to get $75. We're gonna do that in a $50 bill, a $20 bill, and a $5 bill. I'm gonna count up these bills here. We have 50, 70, 75. And I did update all my envelopes, so you'll see that I do have my deposit listed here for $75, and then the fact that I'm gonna remove that $5 bill for my $5 challenge. Next, we are going to contribute to my gas envelope. This is gonna get the same amount of money, whoops, and the same bills as my eating out envelope. So we're gonna do a 50, a 20, and a $5 bill to give us $75. Let's add that up here or count that out. 50, 70, 75. And just like with my eating out envelope, I did put in the deposit as well as the fact that I'm pulling out that $5 bill for my $5 challenge. Lastly, for my variable expense cash envelopes, we have my miscellaneous envelope. This envelope is the one that really varies the most with regards to my bill denominations. I do generally pull from this envelope for savings challenges, so I always kind of have that in mind when I do my denominations. So this pay period, we're gonna pull out our $150 in two $50 bills, two $20 bills, a $5 bill, and then five singles, so one, two, three, four, five. So let's count this up, make sure this is $150, 50, 100, 120, 140, 145, 46, 47, 48, 49, 150. So we have $150 in here and that deposit is listed in here. We will be coming back to this envelope later to pull out for my 52 week challenge. Whoops. Okay. 
Now we're going to move on to the two sinking funds that I'm currently contributing to. The rest of my 2022 sinking funds I have already reached goal on, so I'm just contributing to my two sinking funds that I consider rolling sinking funds, meaning they don't really have a true goal. I'm just going to keep contributing to them every pay period. Now that being said, I have been contributing a lot to my travel sinking fund because I'm currently saving for a vacation that I'm going on in October. This is actually the last pay period where I will be contributing more than the usual amount to my travel sinking fund. So after this pay period, you're going to see it go back down to the like um, $50 a pay period that I usually do. I think that's what I usually do. Um, but I have been contributing more because I did actually have a goal in mind for my um, uh, vacation that I'm going on. So I do have my travel sinking fund here. The tracker on the front is customizable. This is an envelope that I created myself. It's actually not listed in my Etsy shop yet. I've been kind of trying them out for the last few months. I do like them and I do want to list them in my Etsy shop. It's just something that I haven't really gotten around to. Um, but I kind of created this customizable measurement tool in the front because um, if you don't have a specific monetary goal for an envelope, then you don't want to have monetary numbers written here. Uh, for me, because this is a, um, a rolling sinking fund, what I did instead, whoops, sorry. Um, what I did instead is that I wrote all the months and every time I have my last contribution for that month, I will mark off the tracker. So currently I have $1,727 in this envelope. That's because I actually pulled out $3,000 to make a payment towards my vacation. So that's been done. I do have a couple hundred dollars left to pay on the vacation in terms of just the, um, the hotel and then park tickets because I'm going to Disney. I have not purchased my flights yet. I do need to be doing that soon. I've just been, I've been watching prices because I'm really hoping they come down a little bit more. Um, so with this pay period, we're going to be contributing $1,200 and we're going to be doing that all in $100 bills. So let's pull out 1200 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12. Okay. So with this $1,200, we should have a total of $29.27 in this envelope. And let me see here in the front and we're going to count this all up so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 that's 2000 oops 21 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 that's 29 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 29, 27. Oh, and just to let you all know, when I made that payment towards my vacation, what I did was I actually charged that on one of my credit cards that I get um, like cashback rewards on. And I used one of my specific credit cards that basically has like um, an increased percentage for cash back if you do uh, use the card for a travel purchase. Um, what I had done previously, like right up here, I had actually made a $2,000 payment, but I used the cash back towards the total and then only had to actually pull out 1953 in cash. This time around, I charged 3,000, I pulled out 3,000, I paid it off. I didn't touch the cash back points because I'm planning on using those when I purchase our flights. Um, I'm gonna use that credit card for our flights because you get, again, like travel points when you're doing that, or I shouldn't say that, you get like cash back points when you're doing it and it's the highest like percentage of any of my credit cards. So I kind of kept those points in there on purpose and then I can use them towards our flights. Next, I'm gonna be contributing to my car maintenance sinking fund. This is another one of those rolling sinking funds. Now you'll notice that on my um, measurement tool here, I actually have dollar values. And the reason why is because even though my car maintenance sinking fund has always been a rolling sinking fund, I recently purchased a new vehicle. I purchased a car at the end of June um, because it's a brand new car, I'm not thinking that I'm in a situation where I just need to keep contributing and contributing and contributing to a car maintenance sinking fund. But I do want to have a car maintenance sinking fund. I just don't feel comfortable not having anything kind of in my back pocket if something were to 
go wrong with my car. So my goal is to actually get to $1,000 in this car maintenance sinking fund and then use it whenever I need to. Let's say my oil, uh, first oil change or something like that. Um, when I use from this, I will then contribute to it again to get it back up to the $1,000. And then once my car is a few years old, I'll start contributing to this again on a rolling basis. Uh, but I'm thinking maybe that won't be for at least another two-ish, three-ish years. So with this pay period, we're going to put in $50 in a single $50 bill. And that's going to bring our total to $550, $553. Sorry about that. So let's count this up. One, 152, 253, 354, 455, 550, 51, 2, 553. So we're more than halfway to that thousand dollar goal, which is really exciting. Next, we're going to be contributing to my 2022 savings challenge. So I'm going to pull out these two envelopes from here. So basically, I do the 2022 saving challenges from the budget mom. I think they're really awesome. There's usually two per month that I do. Um, one of them is usually something you're going to pull from your paycheck and the other is something you're going to pull from your cash envelopes. So this $89 here is what I'm pulling from my paycheck. I'm not contributing to this today for what I'm pulling from my cash envelopes because it's something that I have to do on a specific day of the week. So with this pay period or for this pay period, I'm going to be pulling out $89 and I'm going to do that in a $50 bill, a $20 bill, $10 bill, $5 bill, and four singles. One, two, three, four. So that was all of my cash besides my fifties and hundreds. Let's count that up. 50, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. So I have written in my deposit of $89. And then the last thing we're doing with cash is uh, pay my rent and that's $600. I always pull it out in the same denominations. Let's count it up. We have one, two, three, 354, 455, 556. So we have $600. I'm gonna put that aside. I don't actually have a cash envelope for it. And then lastly, we're gonna go to the back of my planner and we are going to, or I should say budget book, and we are going to contribute to my 52 week challenge. So this is the first year I've ever done the 52 week challenge. I actually created this tracker myself. It is listed on my Etsy shop along with this corresponding envelope. They are sold separately just in case you like one but not the other. Um, but I am enjoying the 52 week challenge. I'm definitely going to do it again next year, but I think I might reverse it. That way I kind of see the growth a little bit more quickly. So because I get paid every two weeks, I always pull out for two weeks at a time. So for this pay period, I'm going to contribute $35 and $36 for the next two weeks. I'm going to mark those off and we're going to actually take that from my miscellaneous envelope. So I'm going to pull out my miscellaneous envelope. I did already fill that in on the back here. The 35 plus 36 equals $71. So let me pull out $71 from here. Okay, so we have 50, 70, 71. And I'm going to put that aside. I want to make sure we have the the leftover $79 in this pile here. That way you can put my miscellaneous envelope to the side. So we have 50, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. And I didn't actually realize that I was going to have a $5 bill leftover. So I actually am going to pull that out as well and put that in my $5 challenge jar. Let me mark that in here really quickly. So we are done with this miscellaneous envelope. I'm going to put that aside, but I am going to add the $71 to the 52 week challenge envelope. And I did put in that deposit. We should have a total of $666 in this envelope now. Okay. So 
So with the bills added, let's add this up. 1, 2, 3, 3, 3 4, 4, 55, 5, 56, 6, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 666. So we do have the correct amount in this challenge envelope. Another one that's kind of sort of getting a little bit stuffed. I think I'm a little while away from having to condense it. And that is it for this cash envelope stuffing. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the way that I use the Budget by Paycheck workbook um, or uh, how I budget, please do not hesitate to put them down below. And as always, everyone, please be safe. Bye-bye.